Today I'm going to try out an illegal driver and a very illegal driver. What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I've got two drivers in my hands and both of these are illegal. Not legal for USGA competitive play. Now, I actually have my gamer driver right here, TaylorMade Sim 2 Max. It's the driver I've been using. I really like it. Works pretty well. But maybe you saw one of my old videos where I actually ordered from Crank Golf a high core driver. And that driver actually blew my mind in that it really did send the ball pretty far. Now, Crank is a really reputable golf club company. They actually have been making clubs for a long time. They've actually been the driver that's won the long drive competition. So I have actually no doubt that when they say they make a high core driver, which is really about thinning that face, that it is in fact a high core driver. Now, I was actually online and I found this driver head and it advertises itself to be high core too, super high core, so much that it is illegal. I don't know that it it gave a specific number about what kind of core or coefficient of restitution it is, but I would think 0.86 or higher possibly. But one of the things I wanted to do was test that out. Could this driver at a much lower price point provide the same distance gains for a lot of us average recreational golfers that I saw with the crank driver? Now on top of that, this driver here is actually 168 grams. Now this head is not adjustable, it's just a glue in head, and I actually threw this on the scale before I installed it on the shaft and it came out a little heavier like 172 so 168 it's a ballpark but that means this driver while the face here while it's supposed to be forged is supposed to be high core the head is also very light now one of the things that that will do is it will allow you to swing a little faster now some people like heavier heads so that they can feel and time the head a little bit more but having a lighter head will probably one allow you to swing a little faster and then combined with this high core face it should send the ball quite a bit longer now what's interesting here is that that the Sim 2 Max actually has this big removable weight in the back here. And what you might be able to see is that I took out that weight and replaced it with the lightest weight I could find, which is a six gram weight. Now that actually made these two heads about the same. So I have about 172 grams here and about 172 grams here. I have mounted them on exactly the same golf shafts, same grips on both. So I have, for the most part, two identical drivers as close as I can make them. The only thing that should be different is that this is a compliant, conforming, standard coefficient of restitution face. And this one is a non-compliant, non-conforming, super high core, illegal face. So I was actually really interested to see if this driver would outperform this driver. Now that got me thinking still because a light driver head here will allow me to lengthen a shaft and maintain the same swing weight that most golfers have. So 170 grams here would actually allow me to add two or three inches to the shaft. Now because of the shaft is pretty expensive, I didn't want to go ahead and get another one of these, but I did go ahead and order a very light shaft, a Pro Launch Blue here. This is a regular flex and this shaft is uncut. This shaft out of the box comes in at 46 inches this head here adds about another two inches so i ordered another one of these heads it's an integra so long 168 same loft on the shaft 48 inch driver same grip now one of the things here is that this won't be exactly the same shaft so it won't flex exactly the same way but i was thinking well maybe having a super long driver one that is no longer allowed so USGA has changed the rules on what driver lengths are allowed. But one of the things that I wanted to point out here was actually the gamer driver that I use, I have actually shortened to 43 inches. That just allows me to hit the sweet spot pretty regularly and I'm pretty happy with the distance out of it. But building the longest driver that I could here, if I go ahead and line up these drivers end to end here and show you how big of a difference that these are. So. 43 to 48 inches, this driver is five inches longer. So not only does it have that high core face, but it also has five inches here. So one, I wanted to go ahead and test a high core head against my gamer head with all the same specs otherwise. But then I thought we'll try that same head on a longer shaft and see if that launches the ball even farther. Now, I've actually gone ahead, swung these around in the grass here, and I can tell you that there are some things that I'm gonna predict right off the bat. First of all, I have a feeling that these two drivers are going to perform pretty similarly because i'm not that familiar with the quality control of integra and they're so long heads i have a feeling that maybe actually just 
lightening up the head here is where people get additional speed and additional distance so the fact that i've built a conforming head at the same weight i think that these are going to swing about the same i think they're going to launch the ball about the same and i actually really don't expect these to perform much differently i actually expect that most of the effect that people are getting is because of the head weight difference here all right so i expect these two to be pretty similar now what i do expect actually is this 48 inch driver to go farther than my 43 inch driver because i think all things being equal i should be able to pick up some swing speed with this now the thing i will say here is that just hitting this outside through the grass and off a mat a little bit is i am having some trouble controlling this club and as you can see here i was hitting some wiffle balls off my mat and i have a lot of grass there now that should be a good sign that i am grounding out this club because floating this above the ground getting an upward angle of attack on the ball is not that easy there's a reason I went from 45 to 43 inches on my regular gamer driver, and that was for control. So going the extreme opposite direction, going from a 45 inch driver, which I had trouble controlling, to a 48 inch driver means that I am having some trouble controlling this. So while I expect that the outlier shots here, when I do connect, when everything works well, that those balls will fly farther, I expect that on average, I might not get any better distance because I expect that a good handful of those shots will be all over the place. Because if adding five inches to your driver just meant you were gonna reach out and get more speed, then everyone would be doing it. And I think the, the whole key of fitting, the whole key of customizing clubs is to find the match of all these factors that works best for you. So this one is the one that works best for me. I don't expect this head to really generate much more. So I don't wanna to be too general with these results. So I booked some time at the simulator. Let's head on over and see what the results are. All right, so I'm back, spent couple hours at the simulator and i will say that wow i guess i am really quite disappointed and my expectations were not really met my predictions weren't really very close either but my gamer driver here i was warming up with that and it was playing about what i would expect this tailor made sim 2 max with all my customizations to it i was averaging a club head speed of 93.4 miles an hour and a ball speed of 130.9 Average total distance with this was 226.5 yards, and the smash factor was about 1.4. So that's actually not bad, and in the simulator, they have these kind of crazy balls with all these markings on them. I don't think that they are the best golf balls in the whole world. I know you can use some premium balls with it too, but I wasn't doing that. So basically, I was just trying to get relative performance data between these clubs. Now, this high core Integra driver says so long, cup face forged, and I think it's a really thin face. I will say that it's not a bad club, but I could not get it to perform as well as my TaylorMade driver. So I noticed that my club bed speed was down just a smidge with this, and that might be because it just feels a little bit different, even though the shaft and the grip and everything else was exactly the same and the, and the head weight was exactly the same. For whatever reason, I was averaging 93 miles an hour club head speed with this instead of 93.4, so basically the same. Ball speed on this was pretty close too, 129.7 versus 130.9. So just a little bit down on both. And I was a little surprised because if anything, if my club head speed was the same with a high core face you would expect the ball speed to be a little higher so that was a little disappointing and actually distance and again non-adjustable hosel here so you can't really do much about the launch angle but my average distance on this was 214.3 yards so it was actually shorter than my gamer driver now even that the ball characteristics were otherwise about the same i think if i had been able to adjust the loft it would have probably been right on smash factor was also pretty similar 1.39 so i would say that these two drivers there was no difference and that was really actually disappointing to me because I was really hoping that this would be a high core driver and that it would be really affordable. Something like 75 bucks a head, you know, this could put a high core driver in the hands of a lot of average people. Now, I will say that I know that high core drivers do work. In fact, if you look back at some of my videos, I actually tested both of the Crank X and the XX driver, and I actually saw performance improvements with both of those over my gamer driver. So I know high core can work. Maybe a number of things, it may just be the version of the head that I got. It may be variations in manufacturing. It may be an issue with this driver head in particular, whatever. Now, despite those average results, I did try the 48 inch driver with the high core head on it. And I would say that a long driver is darn near impossible to hit. There is probably a reason why even pros don't really play long drivers. I will say that my average 
club head speed did go up with the long driver 93.6 but 93.4 with my tailor-made is not that big of a difference and in fact one of the things that i was really feeling is that when you swing with a really long driver you almost have to slow it down just to get everything to sync up and so it's kind of weird because you would think you'd be able to go at it but if you almost go at it like you would with a normal driver you're dragging that head around it's really late so unless you can really muscle it up i think that the long drivers don't really give you a huge advantage it's also harder to control the swing weight when you start putting that much length on you really got to lighten up the driver head you lose some of that inertia behind the ball too ball speed with the really long driver was actually slower 124.8 but that's probably because with the long driver, you just can't hit it in the sweet spot. And in my case, I'm probably hitting it all over the face here. And so I was only getting a smash factor of 1.33. So quite a bit less than my gamer driver at 1.4. And then of course, as you might expect, total distance was actually down 206.6 with the really long driver. So my standard length driver versus a long driver was actually really disappointing in that it not only did it not help at all, it actually performed worse than my regular driver. So I think what the lesson for me is that an appropriate length shaft is much more important than a long shaft even if you have a wide open fairway it wasn't a situation where i was getting more speed more distance but higher dispersion and i just need a really forgiving wide open fairway to hit i would say that if i pulled a 48 inch driver out of my bag it's actually going to be worse than the club that i would normally play so two things i learned from this experience one this driver head is just fine it's not a bad driver head and it's 75 bucks it actually is very accessible for a lot of people i think to build and make your own driver or to buy a driver and there's nothing wrong with this driver head as far as i can tell you can absolutely hit it and then i would say that from a four or five hundred dollar driver head to a 75 dollar driver head here geez there actually isn't that much difference and so you can actually play with this i will say that it sounds a little tinnier sounds a little more hollow sounds a little higher pitched it's a little louder but it's a quarter of the cost of this driver head and ends up having about the same performance now is it high core some of them might come out of the factory performing a lot better maybe you just need to hit it in the right spot to get that high core effect but as far as i can tell these driver heads from integra are just fine driver heads but they're not necessarily high core to me so if you want to buy one get a decent driver head at a really affordable price i'll put a link to it in the description but if you're looking for something to give you that extra edge that extra 10 15 yards off the face then i don't think that these are it and i would say that the crank golf high core drivers definitely work now there is an option that i am almost positive will give you a high core driver face and that is going to come up in a future video so stick around and i will show you that but if you want to pick up this or this so that you can enjoy your game more. I'll put links to everything in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.